Hello and welcome back to another one of my cocktail videos. Today I'm going to be making a cocktail with only three ingredients. It's, it's a modern, or it's turning into a modern classic cocktail apparently, according to uh, Nicholas Caldicott from punchdrink.com. I'm very surprised that this drink wasn't actually created beforehand because it's kind of a couple of ingredients that make sense together. So the Japanese bartender that created it, uh, Daisuke Ito, I hope I've pronounced it cor correctly. He started off with the Benedictine and then worked on the other ingredients. So then he added the, the Scotch whiskey. Um, he doesn't call for a specific one. It works with all Scotch whiskeys, so you can mix and match depending on your taste. If you want something a little bit smokier, then choose something a little bit smokier. Um, if you want to split it and then mix it with an Isla whiskey and then go heavy on the smoke, you can do that too. Story has it that uh, Nicholas Caldicott, writer at punchdrink.com, uh, was writing a cocktail book going back five or so years ago called Tokyo Cocktails. He's lived in Japan for over 25 years. So he's written this book and he approached bartenders to um, contribute to the book and he asked uh, Daisuke to contribute. And he's a fantastic bartender, according to Caldicott, and he wanted um, to come up with something a little bit unique, but keep it simple, something recreatable, something approachable. Uh, and this was the cocktail he added into that book. And since then, since the book came out, it's been made in other bars around the world and it's getting a little bit more popular. So hopefully I'll make it a little bit more popular. Pop, 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 pop. So hopefully I'll make it a little bit more popular by sharing it with you guys. Uh, but this is the type of cocktail I love to make. Three ingredients, really simple. Um, and made by a Japanese bartender. So I'm gonna use a cobbler shaker. Uh, unusual. The measurements are quite small, hence why I've got this tiny, tiny little glass right here. Of course, if you want to, if you want a, a full-size drink, then just double up the measurements, really easy. Uh, we're gonna start with monkey shoulder, blended Scotch whiskey, a little bit smoky, one ounce, 30 mil. And as I said, the hero that was picked first before the other ingredients was the Benedictine, which is a French herbal liqueur. So it's kind of like honey, spicy, um, cinnamon clove notes to it. If you don't have this on the shelf, then it should be. It's an excellent liqueur. It's one of my favorite liqueurs, actually. Half an ounce, 15 mil of your Benedictine and lemon juice. Simple as that. See what I mean? Like, surely someone has come up with this cocktail once before. Surely. Fresh lemon juice, half an ounce, 15 mil. Plenty of ice into the cocktail shaker. Give it a hard shake. This thing is tiny. Into a chilled coupe. Uh, this one is by Rona and it's tiny. <laughs> As you can see, the double strain. Even this glass is too small for this drink. I'm leaving this one ungarnished. This is the Pantheon. Cheers. Mm, beautiful. Get the, the whiskey at the, the front of the palate. You get those herbal notes, a little bit sweet. No, well, not sweet, but you get that honeyed note, but it's balanced. This is a beautiful drink and I have no idea why it's served on this smaller scale. You may as well double up the recipe and make sure you got plenty of stock of Benedictine because this is delicious. Uh, I'll be making this again for sure. This is the type of cocktail that I love recommending to people because it's just accessible and you can recreate it at home. If you do want another 125 recipes that you can recreate at home, as well as tons of other cocktail information, then head over to cocktailguide.com and grab a copy of my book. See you next Wednesday. Cheers.